basically, uh, we call it Omaha Food Fight. And we pit two, um, I just keep saying restaurants, that was one of the cool things we learned about the data is that this is anywhere that sells food. And so um, it's kind of fun pitting a uh, elementary school against a come and go or that kind of <laughs> stuff. Um, that shows up. But you'll see, like here we've got uh, P.F. Chang uh, versus the practice tea. I may or may not know anything about either one of these. Um, and so Matt's going to make a choice here of which one he thinks is, uh, has a better sanitation rating. What do you guys think? P.F. Chang's? Yeah. All right. Oh, wrong. Oh, wrong. Oh, wrong. So your inspector rating is now going to go down for that. <laughs> so one of the limitations that we found with the data is that there's only four uh, uh, inspections that you can do. There's fair, standard, um, superior, and excellent. Yep. Um, but no other delineation between the two. And clearly, that's not really how uh, restaurants work and that's not how we perceive restaurants as being. So what we wanted to do was to see on kind of an objective scale how do we figure out what is the most or the, the cleanest restaurant. So what we did was we took um, for every comparison that we do we do an ELO ranking the same thing that um, chess systems use that Mark Zuckerberg's first project used, Face Mash. Um, and every time that they win that venue gets points up. If they go down, then it goes points down. And if a poor, like the lowest one or the fair, wins against a superior, then it shoots down way across. So what we can see is what are the top 50 of the um, venues that we can find. One thing that we noticed that was really interesting was that almost all of the uh, restaurants that get the superior aren't actually restaurants, they're schools. Um, and we don't really know why that happens, but we, that might be something useful to look into, right? Why is it that everything is getting superior? Is it because that they really are just that much cleaner than restaurants? I don't know. Um, you can also see what the bottom 50 are, if you're interested. Um, and, you know, some of these are like, a, you know, maybe a buffet. But I'm, I'm not super surprised the Family Fun Center is near the bottom 50. <laughs> um, one thing that you can also figure out is what are the conflicting user ratings for a venue compared to what the inspector says? So we try and match um, the values. So, you know, the Curry Express is rated by the inspector as fair, but our users are saying that it's standard. So that's kind of interesting. That would be something that venue owners might want to know about. You know, if people are thinking that their restaurant is really dirty, well, maybe you can change that. And then you can also figure out, for an individual store, um, we rate those. So of all of the 31 subways that we have in Omaha, which one is perceived to be the least clean? Or, you know, Burger King. Um, only one Walgreens got a fair rating, and that was the one on 30th and Dodge, which is kind of interesting. Um, so we're going to continue to get this. The better, you know, the more people that we have accessing it, the better the data gets. And we hope that we can get this secondary data set out and let people know about it.